This is the Sims 4. It's called the Llama Tell You About Sims 4 Cottage Living Gameplay Trailer. And we're going to watch it together. I'll put the volume up so you guys can't hear me. And it's just all about the trailer. Let's go ahead and give this a go. There we go. Can you guys see okay? Hopefully you can. Right, let's see what this is all about. Oh, I'll get rid of that bar too. Hello, viewer. I'm Harold. Yes, I'm a llama. And no, I don't have an explanation for why you can hear the voice in my head. Instead, let's focus on the point of this video, which I'm telling you now. Over the next 180,000 milliseconds, or three mins, I'm going to show you how to get your cottage living lifestyle tight. So, let's eliminate the excessive exposition of content we're going to get into and begin. Welcome to Henford on Bagley, the hob. It boasts the oh rustic gosh, appeal of living house, in a cottage in the woods with the nearby convenience of a modern day village. Cozy shops, delightful villages, and a tolerable level of activity make for an inviting place to live out your wildest fantasy. Of course, I'm referring to canning. If I had thumbs or any number of fingers, it's all I'd ever do. 16 varietals of jam, custards, and veg, all jammed in a jar that can be kept for cooking later. Some, like the mouth-watering lettuce conserve, will entice you to eat it on the spot. If you can contain your craving, gather your cans or any of your favorite consumables for consumption into an easily placeable picnic that makes anywhere your dining den of decadence. Emmerdale, I'd say, frankly. Not cottagey enough. Fine, I'll give you the wool off my back to cross-stitch with. If you're not feeling confident enough to stitch from reference, there's over 34 designs to prick your pokers on. But let's move on to the real reason you're here. The hot, hot world of garden to tabes. One of the benefits of living in the countryside in a seductively charming cottage such as this is the equally alluring ability to grow your own food. And not the pre-packaged porcinis you buy at the store. These oversized crops will make even the most profesh garden a blush. In a natural transition that I'm currently accomplishing, let's discuss an activity everyone wants their hands dirty while doing. Cooking! The simple living lot challenge will make that magical fridge that's always full obsolete. Now, you'll have to face the facts of foraging for your ingredients yourself. When Grand Grand comes over for your mildly famous Yorkshire pudding, simply grab some eggs, borrow some milk from your cow named Tater, and mix together with flour from the local grocer. There were many other options that took too long to show being made, so please take a look at them now. <laughs> Moving on to something I resemble, animals. The Animal Shed. What it lacks in interesting naming, it more than makes up for in its ability to confine animals to a space. Place it anywhere on your land and choose a cow, or the better option, llama, to inhabit it. We eat here, sleep here, and yes, die here. It's the perfect place for a romantic Ooh. gesture. You can woo with it! Let's assume you made the horrible mistake of choosing cow and did not immediately trade it for animal treats. Now that you're waist deep in the proverbial cow shiz, you'll have to navigate the oddly satisfying waters of befriending this bovine buddy of yours. Keep their mood level up if you want to have the tastiest milk game in the hob. Try different animal treats to create flavors that are so delish you'll be tipping for joy. Don't fly the coop just yet. This cock and bull story continues, y'all. The chicken coop offers the ability to domesticate up to eight foul feathered friends per coop. An apex animal, the chicken has no known predators, except most other animals, including foxes. The coop can be equipped with the Fox Be Gone, a clever upgrade that triggers an alarm whenever those handsy little thieves try to nick your eggs. One way to truly embrace the cottage living lifestyle is in one obviously direct way. Compete in the Finchwick Fair! Whether you have chicken or egg, cow or milk, crop or pie, there is a competition for you! But it's hard to call it fair when you're the flyest llama in town. So, is cottage living the lifestyle for you? As a llama who knows little else about the world, I'd say... probably. Oh, what did you guys think? <laughs> I thought that... okay. I'm just gonna have a little nosy at some bits. Big Sag, I didn't see my house. But this might have been like filmed before our houses got added to the game, which would be big such. No, I didn't see my house. I didn't see my house. Um, so we've seen like the little cottagey vibes before. The this is like the little topper things you can put on, by the way. Um, so we've seen this a little bit before. There's nothing like super new yep. here. But let's have a little nosy through. So I didn't realize you could woo-woo in the in the um 
thing in the um, animal coop things. I think that's really, really cool. I like that it's all told from the point of view of the llama. I think it's really cool that they've added llamas to the game, by the way. I saw so many people online like being really angry that they hadn't added horses to the game. But like in Sims 3, the whole point of horses is you could like gallop around the whole neighborhood. But Sims 4 is an open world. So like you wouldn't get that same experience from it. And llamas, like, are so sims, right? They are so sims. So I honestly don't care. Also, horses in real life kind of jerks, so I'm not really rooting for them anyway. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of, like, not bothered about that at all. Um, so let me just put on some, like, little tunage while we have a little nosy at this part. There we go. Um, so I have actually... One of my houses is in this world because I can see this rune from my house. Um... This ruin I love, by the way, because it looks like a rune near me, which I thought was really, really cool. Yorkshire puddings. Oh my gosh. When they told us about Yorkshire puddings in the chart, uh, when we were like um, doing the stuff to build the park, I was like, oh my gosh, you're adding Yorkshire puddings. Like, I'm so hyped about that. Um, so, oh my gosh, look at those mushrooms. <gasps> look at these little fellas. Oh my gosh, different mushrooms. Okay, I didn't notice that before either. Okay, my other house. So you see, you can see this sign here. My house is this way. So like from the house I built, you see this sign. So mine's like behind. So yeah, unfortunately you're not gonna be able to see it because this is the opposite direction. But any other stuff we can spot while we're looking at this park. One thing I really like that they've done about this is Certain parts of the UK, super multicultural. Like London, um, like Manchester, Leeds, like there's, a, there's parts of the UK that are really multicultural. Countryside, absolutely not. It's the complete opposite. It's like predominantly like white folks. But what they've done with this park is made, like they've taken the multicultural, the good part of the UK, and brought it out into like the sticks where currently it doesn't exist. But I think it's really nice that they've done that because like when I lived in London, one of the things I loved is how there were so many different communities coming together. It's a bit of a melting pot and it was really cool. So I like that this park feels like that side of things, which I think is really cool. Uh, the cherry dress, it feels like a play on the strawberry dress, doesn't it? I thought that was really cool. This outfit is a very huge vibe. Um, what else have we got? Cunning. Cunning looks really, really cool. I love that a lot, a big lot. Birmingham too. Yeah, all the all the big capital cities do have it. I like canning. I like anything to like add a bit more interest in the kitchen. Uh, I feel like honestly, there's quite a lot of stuff you can do with if you have baking and cooking anyway. But I don't know. It's just nice. I feel like the idea of like canning and adding and like jams and all that kind of thing. I really think it will combine beautifully with Realm of Magic. Because to me, this kind of stuff, like it doesn't have to have a witchy vibe to it, but if you want it to do, the music's a bit loud, thank you. But if you do want it to have a bit of a witchy vibe to it, you can do. And I think that's really nice. I think these two packs complement each other so well. Canning is like taking fruits and veggies. Sometimes you boil them down. Sometimes you don't have to do it. Sometimes you put them in vinegar and it basically preserves them. It's something that our ancestors will have done a bunch because they didn't have like fridges in the same way that we do. So food preserving was huge. Um, so I think it's really nice. I like that kind of stuff a lot. So yeah. Um, so I like that. I think that's really cool. Um, and yeah, they're see like you do something with jam jars to like um, make them, what's the word? Before you put jam in them, you have to make the jam jars like totally bacteria and germ free, don't you? Which I think they're doing. I think they're doing that in the pot just there, which is really cool. Um, and I love the little, so often when you get jam in the UK, I don't know if they probably do this everywhere, but you get like a paper wrapper over the, the screw top and then you wrap um, like string around it in a little bow. And yeah, it's just really nice. Sterilize, that's the word I was thinking of. I totally lost that. Uh, so yeah, sterilizing the jars and stuff as well. This is really cool. I love this. I love this a lot. Um, everyone looks so impressed with their um, with their canning, which I love. Look at this little barbecue. This is cute. Is this new? I don't know if this is new or not. Is this is this a gay couple with adopted children? 
Is that what this is? Oh my gosh, I think it might be. I love that. That's really nice. It came with a free update. Okay, Lola, thank you. This is me when it comes to non-CC objects. I just don't know, do I? <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? This is a nice couple. Okay, this is very cute. This little fella flat cap. I'm glad they added that. <laughs> and this is the picnic experience. So I'm really hoping you can cook stuff and put them in the picnic basket rather than buy pre-made picnic bas baskets. But I need to do a bit more gameplay trying. Um, I didn't actually get that much chance to try gameplay when I was building because it took me a very long time to build. Okay, love her. But this, anyone else getting um, Chloe from Life is Strange vibes, by the way? This is the cross stitching. So by the sounds of it, you can YOLO or you can follow 34, I think, patterns that they said, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, we had a gay couple and a trans woman. We love to see it. So I didn't want to... Are you specifically talking about... This character here. I didn't want to like specifically say in case it was like, in case it hadn't been confirmed. I thought that might be the case and I loved that, but I didn't want to specifically say it in case it wasn't. So yeah, that's really nice. This hair with the curls as well. Very, very cool. <laughs> okay, then we're on to llama shaving. And this I love. And kids can do it too. Kids can do stuff as well. Love that. And, uh, oh my gosh, look at all the designs on the wall behind. Wait, 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 look at this. Okay, la 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 la. All the designs on the wall behind. That's Evie! And Lexi! Oh, doggy designs! Oh my gosh. And Aubergine! That is <laughs> the rude emoji right there! Um, that's really cool. I love that a lot. Really fun, doesn't it? It looks awesome. <gasps> oh, he hurt himself though. Yeah, there was a lot of cheeky language in this trailer. But I think it's because English humor is a little bit more, like, it's a little bit more like that. You can get away with quite a lot pre-Watershed on UK TV. Our sense of humor is a little bit, like, I would say rude words and swears aren't as much of a big thing in the UK. So that's probably why they've been a little bit more cheeky with the trailer. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I like that, though. The old games were very cheeky, yeah. So that's the new Pond tool. And this is growing all your own veg. We've kind of seen a lot of this. There's nothing there that looks new to me apart from the mushrooms look different, which I really like. So that's very cool. This is lovely. Are these new? No, not if this is new, but the wisteria is. This looks nice, really nice. I love the pumpkins. They're just aesthetic, aren't they? <laughs> Why? Why am I like seeing everything in a different light? Like because of the cheeky trailer. Oh, did you see the other? This is the different color of the dress, by the way. It feels like strawberry dress vibes again, which I really like. And then what have we got here? We're back to Mr. Llama with the swans. Honestly, biggest jerks on earth. Massive, massive jerks. Like they will attack you. Evie and Swans have a very deep and long-lasting hatred for each other. Um, you could write novels about the lore of Evie and Swans, but they hate each other very, very much so. Uh, they're pretty, though. Okay, so... The hair is available for toddlers as well, by the looks of it. We've got... The kid baking again. I can't tell if they're baking together. I really hope they are. And I love that the kid gets a little stool. That's so cute. That is so cute. I love that. And the cow has got his little... Okay, you guys can't see this. Let me just... Um... Can I make it so that you guys can see this a little bit more clearly? Let me just grab my screen for a hot sec. Because it's showing the new... Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, Streamlabs is dying! Um, it's showing the new lot trait, which you can apply to your house. So you can go fully rogue, like off the grid completely. Don't even like have access to a, so a shopping mart, a shopping mart, a supermarket in this game uh, and have to grow and get everything yourself, which is so good for Rex to Riches. Let me just move it over a little bit more. I really wish it had been there when I'd done Rex to Riches. I'm just gonna do this just for this bit so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. But there, la, la, la. So simple living. And there's actually related to Simple Living. There is by the looks of it. I don't think I've ever seen this before. But you can get a lots challenge. Has this been a thing? 
I feel like this is new. But yeah, so you can go off the grid, simple living, and you look like you can choose whether to have wild foxes or not. So if you don't want your chickens to get eight, which they will, you can remove this. Um, so yeah, I think that's really cool. It's new, yeah, I love that. This, this is like, I feel like this park is introducing a lot of ideas which would work great for other packs. I don't think they'll retrofit them, but for future packs, um, we could do it, couldn't we? So I just want to show you guys that real quick. What else we got? The kids can play in the pond. This kid's got their little welly bobs on. I don't think you can swim in the pond. I'm just going to put like that out there because I think like water has to be like a smooth transition for Sims to get in. But it looks like they can splash around. And I am seeing a turtle, which we definitely don't have in the UK, but I will accept. A little turtle here as well. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, and oh, oh no, something ate your fish. <laughs> A uh, new cardigan, I think. Oh, looks cute. Um, chicken coop or co-op, as Taz would say. We're never going to let that one live down. These are new. Look at these little stockings and this little skirt. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think one of the gurus confirmed no pond swimming, which is fair enough. Like, oh, is this her? No, maybe it's not. Is that her new? What do you guys think? I love this with a lot of mushies on the pocket. Very, very cute. Very cute. We don't have turtles in the UK. Wild turtles? No, I'm pretty sure we don't. We don't have... We've got like a very Britishy range of animals, I think. <laughs> uh, the hair is new as well, but the hair's great. I think all of these hairs are new, actually. So they all look really good. We've got shaved sides. Every male in the UK has this haircut. That is a pug pillow. Um, and I love the Smeg fridge vibes. Look at that, they're all feeling... Oh, they've had a few little tipples, that's why they're sleepy. Love that. And lots of awesome food and canning. Um, that ooh, is a reference to something, I don't know what though. Well, look, little burbies, that is a blue tit. And that's either a sparrow or a great tit. Yes, we've got birds in the UK called a blue tit and a great tit. And we have a feeder and sometimes I'm like, Ali, look, great tits. <laughs> yep, they are birds. I'm not saying a rude word. That's literally what the birds are called. <laughs> and we get blue, a lot of blue tits nesting in our house and we get a lot of great tits around the area. It's not cheeky. It's literally, it is literally what they're called. Um, <laughs> like I said, all my, if you want, really cheeky UK look at the terms of some look at the words of certain UK towns and villages and hamlets they are freaking wild is that beef wellington oh my gosh we should have looked at the dishes shouldn't we okay right let me show you guys the dishes for weird English food um uh, okay that is a Yorkshire pudding a Yorkshire pudding is basically it's like a pancake but it's in like a cup and you pour your gravy in it I can't have them anymore because they've got egg in them they're great. Yeah, we've got birds called thrush as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that looks like a Yorkshire pudding. Um, what you can also get is a toad in the hole, which is basically a massive Yorkshire pudding with sausages in it. Um, also, could be bangers and mash. It could be bangers and mash. It's quite hard to tell. This looks like a meringue pie. Um, this looks like beef wellington. This... Maybe um, shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Difference is one of them has carrots in. I can't remember which. That looks like a lasagna. <laughs> Cheesy lasagna. This looks like a crumpet. Uh, is that a trifle actually? Is that a god awful trifle? No, this is beef wellington. It's basically pastry around beef and you bake it together and you keep it rare in the middle. Um, if it's trifle, it's literally the grossest dish ever made. I think it's a stew. It could be a stew. It could be like an Irish stew kind of vibes. Um, I don't know why the food's glittering because most English food is kind of grim, but we're also really proud of it. So you just gotta like, let us have that. Who is this stuff? Ah, that could be a trifle or that could be also a cottage pie. It's hard to tell. Yeah, trifle's disgusting. But yeah, every boomer loves it. Like, no, your grandparents. Your grandparents love a trifle. 
literally anyone over the in the UK over the age of 70 I like trifles, loves trifle bro. Ali loves trifles it's you, filled with custard it's yum you know what they're missing this is English food how many, much Crumpets. can you identify <laughs> what's this uh, Yorkshire pudding what's this bangs and mash oh, or um, toad in the hole I'm not sure oh, this. Yeah. Um, I think it's that like dessert you like and I don't uh, no idea I'm not sure the crunchy horrible one meringue Oh, okay. I think it's meringue. I'm not sure. And you've got, um, that's beef wellington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got, like, maybe shepherd's pie. Yeah, or that's what I thought. You love these. Crumpets. Yeah. Um, lasagna. Yeah. I think that's just a salad. Just a fruit salad. Yeah. I don't pie, know that one. I think it's a pie. And this one I can't lemon, see. Lemon it tart. Doesn't... That's cake, just cake. Probably sponge. Big Tory sponge cake. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon yeah, yeah. it might be chess. Or cheese. Know. Or cheese. I'm not sure. I can't tell because the quality is there, trash. Um, <laughs> so Ali got them all too. They're very like English dishes. Ali is such a boomer. Ali likes um, all the nonsense dishes like prawn cocktail, which is disgusting. Uh, trifle, all like those gross English things he loves. Ali is really is a boomer. He is a boomer. He is, 100% he is. Where's beans on toast? Where is beans on toast? Apparently whenever American YouTubers come to the UK, they take the mick out of our breakfasts. I'm sorry, no. Sit down. Bre beans on toast is an institution. Our beans are like the most sugary nonsense ever, but you can actually get sugar-free and salt-free versions of beans on toast. If I'm ever hungover, beans on toast. The first thing Ali's like, are you able to eat? And I'm like, I'm able to eat beans on toast and that's all I'm able to eat. Beans on toast with a bit of tomato ketchup on it, sometimes for the extra, extra, Amazing beans on toast. Do cheese on toast first and then put the beans on top and then put tomato ketchup and then chop up some cherry tomatoes and stick them on. You, it will, won't only cure your hangover, it will cure everything. It will water your crops, it will get you A's in school. It is god tier, literally god tier, trust me. Uh, tomato ketchup, yeah, for extra sugar. Uh, Creep Mother has just said this pack is also lacking Marmite on toast. Can someone please ban Creep Mother? Thank you. <laughs> Insta ban, thank you. Uh, I hate Marmite. <laughs> so a pair of tits again. And then we are back into the garden where we now realize not only can we put cows and llamas in here, but we can also woo woo in here. <laughs> Marmite's weird. Claire has Porsche beans on toast. It was Ali that introduced me to this. He's got high effort beans on toast. Um, the weird thing is, llamas are actually quite common in the UK now. I will often see a llama and alpaca. Alpaca is very common in the UK, so it's honestly not a rogue suggestion to put them in this pack and feel like they're out of place. People are genuinely farming uh, the wool from alpacas and llamas. It's becoming really common in the UK. I see it in the south where I live. I also see it in the north where my parents live. Um, and like, it's common. It genuinely is like common now. It's not as common as sheep. Sheep's are everywhere. I think there's more sheep in whales than there are humans. But it's not a rogue suggestion. So like people being like, you should have put horses in instead of llamas because people in the UK don't have llamas and alpacas. We do. It's becoming a thing. Yeah, alpacas are nicer, but llamas are more simsy. I love this, by the way. We were in there. We'll try that in first person mode. Um, and the cow is so lovely. This is like a really nice view on how I'm not gonna get into the farming element of it from like a real life point of view this is like nice reimagined farming where you cuddle and love your animals and nothing bad ever happens to them and I want to believe this version and I love a cool I love a cool and a little bullockine so I am will be having them in my game and look at the chip bouncing watch this chick look at that the legs on that thing the legs on that thing love them oh so when i was building i encountered this it was just um i placed a chicken co-op co-op a coop and one of these just came out and i'm just like oh my word what is this thing it's terrifying it's like an evil chicken um and yeah it's got fire eyes so you know it means business this one's got a little heart <laughs> what is this it is a void chicken. It's an ender, ender chicken. Um, this fox with his little, <laughs> his little burglar thing on. I love. 
I love this about The Sims. I like th the crack. I like the crack in The Sims. I like the idea that you can have a f an alarm that will scare away a fox. I want to live in that reality. That is lovely. So this is the town center. Cute. Very, very cute. I hope it like looks as populated as that. I think mine will because of mods, but I hope it does anyway. More chickens! Look at them all. Little barbars. They're well-behaved chickens. Jeez. No, a legacy would not do that. I'm just putting that out there. Um, and look how cute. Oh, it made a rainbow egg. The chicken really said gay rights. Oh, yes. Oh, I am so here for gay chickens. <laughs> just reminds me of my Twitter argument. But I'm so there for gay chickens. <laughs> I love it. And look at the oh, look at this cow. This cow literally looks like it could have walked off the set of EastEnders. 100% it does. That actually looks like some of the characters on EastEnders. Look at it. Look how it's dressed. Absolute baby. Um, a pumpkin pie. Actually, not very common in the UK. This is rogue, very rogue. But apparently common in America. Pumpkin pie. The only pumpkin pie I've ever seen in the UK is in Starbucks, personally. But there might be places that do it. I don't know. Uh, Emmerdale. What was I saying? Was I saying Coronation Street? Emmerdale is what I meant. Sorry, Emmerdale. I don't watch any of them, but it is very Emmerdale. Gay llamas as well. Love that. Love that too. This llama has so much sass. Look at it. Look at it winning all those awards. Look at the sun setting. Ugh, it's such a pretty game, isn't it? I love the aesthetics of The Sims. That's why I ruined it with Alpha CC. And yeah. What I, I thought the game came out in September because of this. It actually doesn't. It comes out in July this month. But if you buy the pack any time up to September, you get these extra. This tree is worth it for this tree. Honestly, this tree is gorgeous. And it has a door at the bottom, which has me intrigued. So yeah, what did you guys think of that? I thought it looked awesome. I thought it looked really awesome. I will catch up on messages and redemptions. I've just been, uh, I just wanted to watch this pack and see it in all its glory. Sims 4 Roadman Park when? Actually, much more realistic view of the UK, I would say. What it needs is a trait for annoying neighbours. Annoying neighbours needs to be a trait for an English park. Any English park. Uh, I say this with my window wide open, but... Neighbours are annoying and rude. Uh, especially in the country. And they're nosy. They're so nosy. So that should have been a trait. But, um, yeah, there we go. What did you guys think? I think it looks great. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I think I'm going to start a new save specifically for this pack. Um, I'm going to make a character that is like sick of life doing a 9 to 5 in the city and moves out to... I'm basically going to do Stardew Valley, but in The Sims. So um, escape to the country... Escape to Cottage Living. Because there's a UK show called Escape to the Country, which is always on on like Boomer TV in the UK. Um, so it's going to be Escape to Cottage Living, and I'm going to do it that way. And then um, I also, if we manage to get it in time for Pink Gen for Not So Berry, I will do it for that as well. So yeah. Well, let me know what you guys thought of that pack, and I am really, really looking forward to that. So.